and uh, I'm a computer science major in recovery. And I'm trying to follow all of the steps of that since I dropped out of computer science. But the step that I've been stuck on for the longest time is no longer saying, that was poggers, bro, after sex. But you know, it's a process and I just really have to make amends. Um, but I did drop out of computer science to go into law. I'm in law now. And a big part of the reason that I went into law is from a young age, adults would always tell me that I'd make a really great lawyer, like at family parties and shit, that was the defining compliment. And I just think that's the nicest and like most socially acceptable way to tell an eight year old, you're an argumentative little shit, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I want you to shut up. I'm still an argumentative little shit, don't get me wrong. But you paid money to be here, so. <laughs> It's definitely led to a few conflicts in my last relationships, and my friends and I were ranking my exes recently, um, because we're bitches, um, and we got to the first ever person I dated, someone I dated when I was 14, and he was 18. Oh, don't you, I was the victim. <laughs> what does it tell you about my dating history that he wasn't the worst? Like, the pedophile wasn't the worst by a long shot. Compared to some of the other ones, like, he was respectful. He shook my mom's hand. He bought me flowers. He told me I looked pretty with braces. <laughs> but I have dated both men and women, and for the longest time, I was kind of trying to put a label on what I was. And I've just kind of given up on that recently and come to the conclusion that I'm a lesbian in the exact same way that I'm a vegetarian, you know? I talk a lot about being one. I really want to be like a good one. It's a principled thing. But at the end of the day, if I'm drunk and desperate, I just want a sausage roll, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you get it with mayo and it gets all over the sheets and yeah, and you feel weird about it in the morning. <laughs>